All right, in this video, we are going to go over problem 39, uh, which is an example rate expression question. So I have the problem right here. Consider a reaction two moles of N2O goes to two moles of N2 plus uh, one mole of O2. So first in A is simply express the rate of reaction in terms of change of concentration of each of the reactants and problems. So A, what A is asking us to do is a rate expression. Remember, that's different than a rate law. A rate expression says the rate of my reaction is equal to, so first we start with the reactant. Reactants are always negative. So negative change in the concentration of N2O divided by two change in time. Remember this two is coming from the stoichiometry. That is also equal to, now we're gonna do our products. Our products are positive. Uh, positive. Delta, uh, so the change in the concentration of N2 divided by two change in time. Again, this two is coming from the two and the N2. That is equal to the change in the concentration of O2 divided by the change in time. So that's our rate of compression for A. Now in B, in the first 15 seconds, so T equals 15. So the first 15 seconds of the reaction, 0 0.015 moles. So for O2, we have 0 0.015 moles is produced. So that's our delta O2 in moles. We have made 0 0.015 moles in a reaction vessel that is 0.5 liters. Remember, brackets equals molarity, which is equal to moles divided by liters. So whenever we have a molecule in brackets like this, this means you have to use molarity. In the first part of the problem, I was given moles. Now I'm given liters. So I'm going to take my moles and divide it by my liters. So I'm going to do 0 0.015 divided by 0.5 to see how much, what was the concentration of O2 created in that time span. So that concentration is 0 0.03 molar. And now the second thing says, what is the average rate? That's where our rate expression comes from. This rate is our average rate. So our average rate equals, and we want O2 because that was the molecule we were given, is equal to the change in the concentration of O2. Well, we just found that was 0.03. 0, 0.3, and I should have another zero there, 0, 0.30 0 molar, divided by our change in time, 15 seconds. So 0 0.03 divided by 15. Our average rate during that reaction was 0 0.0020 molar. That's how fast we were going on average. And then part C, it looks like my letters I didn't copy over. Part C, okay, what is the change in concentration of N2O during that time interval? Otherwise, other, in other words, what was DN2O dt? So what this is asking me is that during that same time, what was the average rate of N2O? as I actually listed, I want you to calculate N2O2, N2O over delta T. And so we go back to our rate expression. We're always going back to this equation. My average rate, well, we know what that is. So my average rate is 0 0.0020 molar. We figure that out in B. That is equal to negative delta N2O divided by 2 delta t. 
So I just want N2O delta T by itself. So I'm going to multiply each side by negative 2. I want to get the 2 out of the denominator, and I want to get the negative sign. So I have to multiply this by negative 2 as well. And so give myself a little bit more space here. Oops. There we go. So negative 0 0.0040 molar equals delta N2O delta T. That is the rate of change over those 15 seconds as well. All right. Um, and that's it for problem 39. If you have questions for that, please let me know. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.